All right, now that you have MySQL loaded, we're looking at MySQL Workbench right now. And to get your feet wet and get comfortable with SQL, there are some demo data sets that you could bring in right from the MySQL website. So here we are in MySQL's Workbench, and I'm gonna drag over onto the screen here a web page. Let me expand it a little. And on the documentation portion of the MySQL website, if you scroll down, you're gonna find that there are some guides and also some example databases. These are great just to kind of get your feet wet, like I said, and get in there and start working with things. So the two that I would tell you to focus on right now would be the World Database and what I believe is pronounced as the Sequila Database or Sequia Database. And you might wanna go and grab those as the zip files. So you'll click on the zip file here and you could download that and then you could also download this. You're gonna to wanna to then unzip those to a location where you're gonna have access to it and then load them in. So let's take a look. All right, so I've created a MySQL database folder on my PC and I click select folder and then I'm gonna go ahead and extract both of those data files there. So now it's gonna open up the folder and I'm gonna see the Sequila database folder and when I double click it, it's gonna go in and I'm gonna be able to see the contents of that folder, of course. In here, you're gonna see two scripts. You're gonna see a schema script, which is the .sql here, and also the data load, which is the .sql here. The .mwb is the workbench file, which we'll also take a look at here in a second. All right, so a couple ways you can do this is to open it up directly from this query window right here that we're in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the folder icon, which is gonna allow me then to open up a script in the editor and I'm gonna navigate there. So when I come in here, there's my folder, I'll double click that. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up the schema, which is going to display that particular script. So whenever you open up any script, you're typically gonna see a bunch of comments. The comments are often indicated or begun with a dash dash, which means the engine will ignore that when we go to run this code. And as I scroll down, you could see that the script contains a lot of different features from setting certain values and variables to baselining or cleaning up the schema itself. So we are gonna set up a schema called Sakia, and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna see that we create some tables. So these are the scripts that go in there and all of these are details and database development, creating tables with fields and data types and constraints and all that good stuff. But as you scroll down, you can see this is a pretty detailed um, you know, set of builds. And also towards the bottom here, we get into creating what are called views. Views are another way that you can uh, take a look and work with your data. And as you scroll further down, you could see that you could even see the beginning of creating what are called procedures. So procedures are like tiny programs that are running inside the database. There's a lot of value in taking that approach as, a pro, as opposed to putting your code over on a server, like a web server or so on, like a front end type development. But all in all, all of this is being created. So now what we will do is we'll build this out by clicking on the execute icon, which is the lightning bolt. So I'm gonna click that, click the lightning bolt icon, and we will then see the status of everything being run down here in our output. And we can see that everything is looking good, all green check marks. That, so that now means that our objects have been created. Now I'll get ready to do my data load. I'm gonna go grab that particular script. There's my data, I'm gonna click open. And this will look slightly different now. You'll notice that this particular uh, script is going to contain our insert statements and this will now begin to insert all the data into the tables that we had just created. So now with that selected, I'm going to just click up here, click off of anything important and then click the icon to execute it. So once again, we're getting a lot of status reports and some updates as far as what needs to be created and what's being inserted. Okay, clicking on the schema tab down below, if I come up here, I would see the schemas that have been created. Now, if you're not seeing it, you could also right click on that panel and then select refresh all, which will then display it. Now you'll notice also that it already has come with the world schema. So that's in there. 
The Sys one is the system own schema. And then here is Sakia, which we just ran. And when we expand that, we could see we have uh, access to these objects. So here are all the tables that got created as part of that database. And then any of the views that were also in that script, stored procedures, and then these functions that appear to be also added in there. So all of this got created from that script that we downloaded from the MySQL website. All right, just to see how this actually works, let's just create a simple query just so you can get a sense of how all this comes together. Once I'm in here now, I'm gonna create a new query. There's a couple ways I could do it, but if you were to go to File, New Query tab, or Control T, that'll kick open a new blank tab here. And I could say Select Star, which will give me all of the data, all the columns um, out of that particular table. And I'll say Select Star from actor underscore info semicolon that's a good way to terminate so here is the table that we're going to query these are the four the four fields actor id first name last name fill them info and then i can come in here and i can run the query and it's going to display the output here in this panel and i could i could actually widen it a little bit and i could drag the fields around but you could see now these were all the records stored in the actor info table. So that's a real quick, easy way for you to create a query, you know, after you've loaded your data, after you've built your tables. All right, so I hope this helps.